Okay, good day everyone. So, today's lesson, we have the uniformly accelerated motion, the first topic in this fourth quarter for grade 9 science. But before we proceed with the concept of uniformly accelerated motion, let's recall or let's recall the differences between the speed and then the velocity. Now, let's we have the speed and velocity here. So speed can be defined as the rate of the change of distance. While for the velocity, it is defined as the rate of change of displacement. So magkaiba po ang distance into displacement po. Okay? Now, uh, ma-identify natin ang pagkakaiba ng distance and displacement when it comes to this scalar and vector quantity. So under speed, meron uh, makukonsider siyang scalar while velocity meron siyang makukonsider po siyang vector quantity ano po ba ang pagkakaiba ng scalar at vector quantity ang scalar tumutukoy lang po sa magnitude while for the vector tumutukoy po siya sa magnitude with the direction so ano po bang direction natin meron tayong north south west and is okay so for example dito sa ating distance uh, ang scalar quantity po na for example meron tayong bola going to uh, papunta po dyan nag roll po ang bola nag roll siya ng 2 meters so obviously the distance of the ball under this speed is 2 meters well for the displacement yung vector quantity na na tinutukoy po natin dito yung bola nag roll po yung bola going to um, is ng 2 meters, then bumalik po siya going to west ng 2 meters ulit. So, obviously, ang kanyang um, displacement ay 0 dahil walang nagbago po. Bumalik po siya sa original position po niya. Okay? Now, when it comes sa kanyang uh, when it comes sa kanyang units, pareho lang po ng units ang ginagamit po kay speed and kay velocity. So, meron tayong meter per second na unit po na ginagamit kay speed and velocity. Now, with their formula po, meron tayo ditong speed is equal to distance over time. Well, for the velocity, meron tayong um, displacement over the time. Okay. Dito na natin magagamit yung definition ni velocity na dinefine natin kanina. So, we have the acceleration. So, what is acceleration? Acceleration measures the rate of change in velocity. So, may pagbabago sa velocity. Paano natin ma-identify yung pagbabago ng velocity at paano natin magagamit ito sa acceleration? As you observe with the formula na meron tayo dito, okay, um, acceleration or the average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the time. Okay? So, doon sa change in velocity, doon na nagkaroon ng change in velocity kasi we will emphasize the final velocity into the initial velocity from rest nung, from rest going to the final movement ng isang moving object. And then with the time itself, okay, there is a change also with the time or kung time itself for the whole period or whole duration doon natin consider, then doon natin makukuha yung average acceleration or the acceleration of a moving object for the entire motion. Now, let's continue with the concept using this sample scenario. A ball roll a distance of 4 meters in 2 seconds. After 4 seconds, it covers a total distance of 8 meters. The ball rolled for how long after 6 seconds? So, ganito yung concept niya. Yung bola daw, okay, after 2 seconds na nag-roll siya, okay, na-reach niya ang 4 meters after 2 seconds. Okay? Then, after uh, 4 seconds, na-reach ng bola ang 8 meters. Okay? Ang tanong, okay, after 6 seconds, after 6 seconds, gaano kalayo ang na-reach ng bola? Okay? So, obviously, kung papasin din natin, merong pattern na sinusundan yung uh, sample scenario natin. Okay, so papasin mo yung when it sa kanilang distance, okay, ang difference ng pangalawa mula doon sa umpisa, okay, ay 4 meters ang difference nila. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 meters. In every 
two seconds ng interval. Okay? Then, papansin mo, for the question, may two seconds na interval din. So, obviously, okay, we will just add 8 meters to the force meters, 4 meters na interval din. Okay, so 8 meters plus 4. So, obviously, ang um, na-reach ng bola after 6 seconds ay 12 meters. So, dyan nalalabas yung tinatawag po nating uniform motion. But what is uniform motion? So, this is the uniform motion, the motion of an object along a straight path at constant speed. So, papansin niyo dito sa sample scenario natin, napaka-constant, meron tayong pattern na nasundan, that's why na-identify agad natin kung kaano kalayo kaagad yung na-reach ng bola after 6 seconds. That is the uniform motion na tinatawag po natin. Okay, let's have the another concept which is the accelerated motion. This is the motion in which the speed of an object changes, the direction changes, both the speed and direction change. We can use the image here to explain or to describe the acceleration, accelerated motion. So, papasin niyo do sa unang part natin, okay, from deceleration or mabagal yung pagtakbo nung isang guy dito, bigla siyang bumilis. So, there is a changes in speed. The same thing do sa second image natin, okay, from mabilis, bigla siyang bumagal, nag-slowing down siya. Parang siyang, ang concept natin dito ay nasa traffic light, hindi, sa mga kalsada. Kapag nag-signal uh, nag ng go or nag-green light na, which means go na, okay, biglang nag-speed up yung mga sasakyan, bumibilis. Pero kapag nag-traffic red na or nag-red light na, okay, biglang titigil yung mga sasakyan. So, ganun yun. Merong pagbabago sa speed po nila. Then, for the third diagram here, yung beast na napapansin niyo, there is some movement and as you can see, man, in, wala siyang sinusundan na pattern. Okay, paiba-iba yung kanyang direction. So, as you can see, there is a changes in the direction. If the speed and the direction both change, okay, we can also consider it as accelerated motion. Now, to further understand the accelerated motion, let's have the sample scenarios. In number one, an athlete run at 15 km per hour north and then turn east and moves at the same speed. Same speed, walang pagbabago sa speed pero nagbago from ang kanyang direction from north going to east. So, there's a changes in direction. We can consider it as accelerated motion. Now, for a jeep that travels along a straight road increases its speed from 20 meter per second to meter per second in 10 seconds. So, nandun na yung keyword natin na increases. So, there is a changes in its speed. Well, for the number 3, Saipun Yolanda moves at 15 km per hour west, northwest, then heads towards the north at 19 km per hour. So, merong pagbabago sa speed from 15 km per hour going to 19 km per hour. Then, for the direction, galing siya sa west, northwest, then bigla siyang papunta sa north po. Okay, so, all of these scenarios are considered under accelerated motion. Now, let's study this another sample scenario. A marble rolls a distance of 25 meters in 5 seconds. Its speed increases by 2 meters per second every second. So, papasin ninyo, from 0 second going to 5 second, na-reach niya ang 25 meters after 5 seconds. Okay? Now, in every second po, ang bilis po na from 0 meter per second, ang interval po nila every second ay 2 meter per second. Now, kung papansin nyo dito sa acceleration niya, okay, 2 meter per second squared ang nakuha. Let's uh, check it kung tama ba. For example, in the first, se uh, first second to the second second, kung papansin nyo at naalala nyo po, Ang uh, formula natin na ginagamit po kay acceleration, acceleration is equal to final velocity, okay, minus initial velocity over the time, okay, kung naaalala nyo kanina, okay, 
Ang kanyang final velocity dito, meron tayong 4 meters. So, 4 meter per second. And then, ang initial velocity niya dito ay 2 meter per second. Okay? Over time, ang time natin is every second dito. And then, papansin yun dito, ang time interval natin dito. Okay? Ang interval po nila ay eh, 1 second. So, over 1 second here. Now, 4 minus 2, makukuha natin ng 2 meter per second over 1 second. Now, 2 divided by 1, obviously, makukuha natin ng 2 meter per second squared na acceleration po. So, papansin ninyo, kung kukumpitin po natin lahat, napaka-uniform na makukuha natin ay 2 meter per second squared. Now, what's the indication of this kind of scenario? Diyan na lalabas po ang uniformly accelerated motion. But what is uniformly accelerated motion? Okay, uniformly accelerated motion is a motion of an object where the acceleration is constant or the acceleration remains uniform. So from the words of uniformly, okay, constant hindi nagbabago yung acceleration niya for the entire motion. So napansin nyo kanina doon sa table at pag compute natin nakakuha tayo ng 2 meter per second squared. Ganun po ang kanyang acceleration hanggang ma-reach po niya ang 25 meters after 5 seconds. Okay? So that is the uniformly accelerated motion. Okay, uniformly accelerated motion can be observed both in horizontal dimension and also sa vertical dimension. Okay, in horizontal dimension, we're just talking about with a straight path or a straight line, yung motion ng isang object. Okay, well for the vertical dimension, okay, one of the best example of it is the free fall. Okay. Now, if you still remember our Cartesian plane, meron tayong tinatawag na x-axis at y-axis. Yung x-axis na yan, dyan natin makikita yung horizontal dimension or dyan natin maobserbahan yung UAM under, uh, under horizontal dimension. Okay? For the y-axis naman, dyan naman natin makikita yung UAM. Okay? Ng vertical dimension. Okay? So, in uniformly accelerated motion under horizontal dimension, okay, if a body maintains constant change in its velocity, which is the acceleration kasi change in velocity, in a given time interval along a straight line or a straight path, okay, then the body is said to have a uniform acceleration. Yung straight line na yan, yung nagre-represent ng ating x-axis, kapag uniform or constant ang kanyang ang kanyang acceleration, okay, obviously, we can consider it as uniformly accelerated motion under horizontal dimension. Now, let's proceed with this vertical dimension under uniformly accelerated motion, okay? Like what I said a while ago, the best example of it is free fall. What are the characteristics of free falling object? A free falling object do not encounter air resistance, so we need to neglect the air resistance here. Then, free falling object on Earth accelerated downward at rate of 9.8 meter per second squared. So, saan natin to nakuha tong 9.8 meter per second squared? This is the value of our gravity, and always remember that gravity it is the force that attracts the body towards Earth. Okay, so with this uh, gravity value, constant po ang kanyang uh, value po. Okay, that's why the free-falling object, okay, is under uniformly accelerated motion kasi constant po ang kanyang acceleration. And always remember that all downward or free-falling object, ang kanyang sign is negative. Kasi nga, if you used to remember our y-axis, okay, yung Yung upper part ng y-axis natin ay positive and the, neg uh, the lower part ng ating y-axis is negative sign. Okay, so all free-falling object, ang kanilang acceleration ay negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Now, let's try to answer this activity 1. Let's analyze each scenario whether it exhibits uniformly accelerated motion or not. 
Okay, the first one, a bike that is at rest. So, obviously, at rest siya. So, we cannot consider this as UAM. Number two, a boy holding a book. Okay, the boy just holding a book. Wala namang ginagawa yung book. Okay, nawakan niya lang. So, there is no movement. Obviously, we cannot consider this as UAM. Number three, a hanging picture frame. So, yung picture frame nandyan lang. It's just there. So, there's some, there's no motion. There's no movement. So, obviously, we can consider it as UAM. Number four, a rock falling from a cliff. Okay. So, yung rock, pababa, galing sa bundok. Okay. Attracted siya sa ating gravity po. So, 9.8 meter per second squared. So, we can consider it as uniformly accelerated motion. Number five, a fruit dropping from a tree. So this one is the uh, also a best example of free falling object. So obviously we can consider it as uniformly accelerated motion. Number six, a rolling ball on an inclined plane. So parang pareho lang siya do sa number four, na parang cliff inclined plane. So attracted din po siya sa ating gravity. So we can consider it as uniformly accelerated motion under vertical dimension. Then number seven, a car increasing its velocity at a constant rate under um, horizontal dimension to. So, papansin niyo increasing its velocity. So, there is a changes in velocity. And there is a changes in velocity. So, that is the definition of our acceleration. So, meaning we can consider it as uniformly accelerated motion. Kasi constant ang kanyang uh, acceleration dito. The number 8, a track running with a constant acceleration. So, nandiyan na yung keyword natin na constant acceleration. So, we can consider it as uniformly accelerated motion. Now, let's try to answer this activity number 2. The following statements are about bodies and objects exhibiting uniformly accelerated motion. Okay, we will just identify if it is true or not. Okay, or false. For number one, acceleration is constant and bodies in uniformly accelerated motion. So, nakuha na natin yung keyword dyan na yung constant daw yung acceleration. So, that is true. Number two, UAM can only be observed along the horizontal line of action. The answer here is false. Bakit? UAM can be observed both in horizontal and vertical dimension. And number three, Objects at free fall exhibit uniformly accelerated motion. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina, ang free fall ang best example natin kay vertical dimension. Number four, in UAM, word velocity changes but at a constant rate. Okay? Velocity changes, that is the definition of acceleration. So, there is a constant rate of acceleration. So, meaning this is true. Number five, an object in UAM has zero acceleration. The answer here is false. Bakit? Bakit zero acceleration? Wala pong zero acceleration kasi ang acceleration definition, na, definition natin, there is a changes in velocity. E dito zero. Nasaan ang changes doon? Tama? So this is false.